Nikola Tesla is famous the world over for being an inventor, an engineer, and of course, the namesake for Elon Musk's electric cars. But what many don't know about Tesla was his uncanny ability to predict the future. In 1926, Tesla sat down for an interview with Collier's Magazine, where he made an incredible prediction about the next century. This is what he said. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but through television and telephony, we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles. And the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will be amazingly simple compared with our present telephone. A man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. Now, amazingly enough, the only inaccurate part of this prediction was that vest pockets would still be a thing. But how did Tesla get it so right? Well, it's because he understood one of the most important concepts in capitalism and free markets that most people take for granted today. In 1935, Tesla elaborated on his initial prediction. He said, at present we suffer from the derangement of our civilization because we have not yet completely adjusted ourselves to the machine age. The solution of our problems does not lie in destroying, but in mastering the machine. And 100 years later, we see examples of this all around us. The transcontinental railroads replaced the Oregon Trail. ATMs replaced a lot of bank tellers. Cars replaced the horse and carriage, and cell phones replaced a lot of our switchboard operators. This process is known as creative destruction. Another way of putting it is, it's the dismantling of long-standing practices in order to make way for innovation. But just as Tesla was able to predict the rise of the smartphone and the internet through creative destruction, he also knew that there would be those who would oppose technological progress for their own economic benefit. Imagine if the horse and carriage industry had pressured politicians to ban cars in 1926. Now that may sound ridiculous, but that's effectively what's happening in other industries. In California today, taxi cab companies routinely lobby cities to ban ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft. But it doesn't stop there. There's even more examples of how well-entrenched industries try to use government to crush emerging competition. Lobbyists for large retail stores like Walmart and Target pressure politicians to tax internet sales. Social media giants Facebook and Twitter actually lobby the government for more regulations on the internet to crowd out future competitors. The fundamental mistake opponents of creative destruction make is that they look back at the past and wax poetically over the businesses being lost rather than looking forward to the new opportunities being created. Now, admittedly, we have far fewer bank tellers, horses and carriages, and switchboard operators today than we did a century ago. But society is not worse off because those particular jobs are gone. Instead, society is far more advanced than it was in 1926, just as Tesla predicted, because creative destruction allowed for new and better opportunities to come forward, which created a whole host of different jobs which people were able to occupy. Another prediction Tesla made was that automation would take the place of slave labor within a hundred years. And while slavery has been legally eradicated almost everywhere, there are some people that would actually convince you that holding down a job is the equivalent of being enslaved. And you can watch that video right here. I'm Nick Freitas. Thank you for watching the Y Minutes. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up for notifications where we put out a new video every Wednesday.